Hi friends, we'll try to learn to generate the PDF document using Collab platform. The advantage of Collab platform is it is a cloud platform. So whatever code we develop, if it works with me, it will work definitely going to work with you. There is no error message, nothing will come up. And the same file, you can share it with your other friends and all, and you can easily modify the source code also. So, and we'll be storing it in GitHub and from GitHub, it will be opening in your Collab platform. So that is the advantage and slowly we'll move towards uh, generating dynamic PDF files in PDF. So using the database data and in various images. So before we move, my request is please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon. So you'll be notified as and when we add new, new tutorials. Let us start with our collab platform. We are in our collab platform. You just need a Google account or Google ID to work on this Kola platform, just log in and start using it. So first we want to check it whether uh, report lab is available or not. So for that we'll check that by importing IMP, then we'll use a try and accept block. So this is a general uh, testing you can do. So the error message you can print it. So import find module. This part is required only if you don't have the uh, report module installed in it if it is already installed no, no problem report lab so we, this is any other module also you can check it by using this in your collab platform i'm just writing it check for so whatever you want to check it you can check it if it is found then set it to true or you can reverse way also accept now i am saying import uh, error so you can print it now what I am going to do again found equal to false so whatever the found value I'll get I'll just print it to display it what is the whether the module is available or not so let's just run this and see it is first time so it is connecting and it will display whether it is available or not available so it is the same technique can be it is false means it is not available so i have to install it let's install it so any other library also you can use it but uh, right now we are interested in pip install report lab now let's run this so it will connecting in it will start installing for us now after that if you can will run this module again you should get false instead of false you should get true value because it will report lab will be installed but it is runtime installation. Next time you log out or open the new session again, again you have to do it because by default this report lab is not available in the Google, so this collab uh, platform. So let's uh, complete successfully installed. Now let's me just run this and see. Yeah, true. That means our installation of, uh, of the report lab is successful and it is available now. Let's create our first PDF file. So this code block we have installed here. So let's start from here. So from report lab PDF gen <coughs> import canvas. So that is what where we'll be placing our uh, string images, uh, everything. So canvas we are importing. So my path, my path is the path or the with the file name I am giving here. I am creating it my underscore PDF underscore file dot PDF. This, this is the file name will be created where it will be created now let's just expand this one here it will be there so already it is there I can just remove this uh, delete the file delete so it will be created here first time I am creating <clears throat> now let me uh, now let's create the canvas object so see canvas dot canvas now my path this is the file name what I am created bottom up equal to default value is zero. So I am keeping it zero. What does this mean? This means is X and Y coordinate. So X is the left from the left edge. It will start the coordinate and Y coordinate means it will start from the top. So left top, it, our coordinate should start that way. The other value is one. We'll see the next we'll see that one. So C dot draw string, sorry, draw string. I'm adding a string here where I am placing it. 200 now next I am giving 200 so my x coordinate 
200 y so from the left edge 200 and from the top also it's 200 what i'm going to do i'll write a string hello world you can write your name also so let me just save this sorry so page so it's a cloud platform there is no point but i'll write it so you can use it in your desktop applications also so c dot save now this file is will be saved now let's just run this see uh sorry bot b here b o one t i have to remove fine so it is created now let me refresh this here you can see the file has come up now let me download it multiple files okay my pdf this i have downloaded it now let me just open this and see how this one here you can see the hello world to understand the coordinates let me just close this one and create it at a y value i'll take it as uh, let me take 50 so from the top it is 50 i am giving so now let me recreate it again so again i will download it save now open it you can see it is shifted up let's first upload or collect a image from a you can use this and uh, use your own image also and that image will appear here instead of that what we are doing is you can also use that i'm just collecting a image from our site i'm pasting the url here so once i run this this image will be collected from this url let me move up a bit yeah and this will be available here let me just refresh this this one dot png is available here for us to use it now let me close this now below that whatever is available let me just copy once i'll add one code block here paste it here so now we'll add text and image both so slightly we'll do some changes same file name i am using now this bottom up is i will set it to one that means now the y coordinate or the vertical coordinate will increase as you move move up the page means bottom is zero and it will be added up so here what i am saying is i am moving it bit up so i am giving 800 means the text will be at the top of the page now before that what i am doing let me just set some font color that also will learn how to set the font family and color c dot set font now what is my font i am using you can use your own family whatever you want to use it i am giving a font family or arial or times whatever you want you can give it now 20 so this is the i have set the font now now let me just set the font color what color it should have so set fill uh, color rgb red green blue so what's the values of red green? I am giving it 0, 0, 001 means it's a prominent blue. It should come 0, 0, 001. You give it whatever color you want. I am writing it here. Fine. So I have set the font color in RGB value. Now draw string. Now this string will take this font color and the whatever the font family and values I have given. Now let me just come back to my image. So C draw image now which image first let me give the image it is one dot png this is what actually we have uh, connected here we have downloaded and uploaded here or if you have your own image which you have uploaded you can place it now let me give the x and y coordinate so where i am giving i am giving 200 and giving say let me give uh, 600 so it is okay 600 will be it is beyond my visible area so 700 i am giving so x y y is bit up now you imagine the text is at 800 so below this text this should appear so that is what is my idea is so let me just save it once and run it so this file will be created once again yeah there is no error so this file is created again now let me download it i have a lot of files yeah my file six the name it is changed now let me run this yeah you can see it this image or a small image a png file it is appeared here now i can push it downward by giving a lex uh, reducing the y coordinate let's do that so what i am going to do is instead of giving 700 let me give 600 save it running it once again now this file again i will download it seven 
now let me upload check it here yeah. you can see it is because my y coordinates have decreased so it has come down that is how we'll create our pdf documents by using in the collab platform next we'll learn how we'll take data from database like sqlite excel page csv page and create dynamically this uh, this pdf files you integrating the data and the images also to get the full source code, visit this URL. The link is there in the description. Scroll down the entire source code. You can read it also in the description. Then click this GitHub link. Once you click this, you will be taken to the GitHub. Let me find now in the GitHub. You can open. It will open. And the entire source code is there, the Jupyter file. And open in Collab. You just click this and save it first. Save a copy of the file. So use it further. That's all friends, hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. Next we'll create a PDF file by using dynamic data taken from database or Excel file or from any other sources and create the PDF files on the fly. So before we move further and if you have any doubts, suggestions, questions, use the comment section below to post it. My request is please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you'll be notified as and when we add new new tutorials and we are frequently doing that also. Please share this with your friends and thank you for watching.